a national treasure in the loose lounge today. Fresh from last night's National Television Awards, where she received a special recognition award, it's the absolutely fabulous Joanna Lumley. <laughs> Congratulations on the award last night. How are you feeling today? Thank you so much. I feel as though I was hit by a train. I must say, it's the most <laughs> emotional thing that's ever happened to me. It was quite fantastic. Was I can't it, really believe it now. Was it a late night? Quite a late night. <laughs> <laughs> so fun in more ways than one. It was fun in more ways than one. It was a fantastic evening, actually. Really thrilling and really exciting. I was terribly proud. I'm a vain woman anyway, but God, this made me really, really <laughs> proud. Fabulous. We can't wait to have you out here uh, in a little while. Uh, if you've got a question... Fantastic night. There was some lovely, uh, some lovely frocks there. I mean, everybody was, you know, everybody in the room, you could feel the electricity when, when, when Joanna won the award. Yeah. I mean, nobody more well-deserved than her. It was fantastic. She had a fantastic, you know, lovely speech and uh, lovely hearing all the things that people said on the, on the VT that they showed before her award, and she was genuinely, you know, overcome. Another person who did a great... Now it's time to introduce you to our one and only guest today, and boy, is she worth the wait. An actress famous for playing, amongst others, Purdy in The Avengers and the absolutely fabulous Patsy. She is also hugely respected for her charity and campaigning work. She's quite simply a national treasure who last night was honoured with a special recognition award at the National Television Awards. It's the one, the only, Joanna Lumley. <laughs> Absolutely so thrilled to be. You were genuinely so surprised and honoured and moved, weren't you? You couldn't have you couldn't have dreamed something like that would ever happen to you. You never do think that could ever happen. Why would it ever happen do to you? Do you? They really never tell you. They never no, give they, you a heads Well, up. I think it might spoil it. If well, yeah. I don't know. Maybe some people have to know or don't know. Anyway, I wasn't told. But what I knew is I had to be there because I might be collecting an award for, for David Attenborough. Mm. I was oh, so proud, you know, because he was going to win with Frozen Plant. Then he said, he is going to win. Here's his speech. And I went, oh, great, yeah, yeah, yeah. So didn't drink anything. Oh. <laughs> that's, that's good. Very good. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so that's good. Um, but that was a great anyway, acceptance speech on, on wow. his behalf it, as well. It, well he, yeah. he had written all that out yeah. and had it sent over from China, which is where he is yeah. at the moment. But the extraordinary thing was, you, was j you going back to this childhood thing, Jane, just now watching it in the back. When they, uh, I was sort of okay-ish, excited and thrilled and couldn't believe it with the acting stuff. When they brought in the Gurkhas and they showed the picture of my daddy, well, that was it. finish. It's funny. Yeah. There's a line, mm. which is we have professional lives, and when you step into your real life, I don't mean that we're not real, but do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. When it's real, you kind of oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was hopeless. I was fit for rags. You would. You would have been <laughs> just <laughs> sad. And people said such lovely things about you oh, as well. Yeah. I couldn't yeah. believe it. I couldn't <clears throat> believe it. I couldn't. Have believe... you seen it back? Your, your no, I haven't speech. yet. I got to it because I was up very early. Shall we have a look at it now? Did I even speak? Yes. We, we, have, we have a little clip of it. Here you go. I'm so touched by all those things people said. I'm so thrilled that you saw me kissing Leo. Um, I'm so amazed by Bill Roach speaking about me. I'm so touched that Martin Scorsese could remember who I was. David Attenborough, my hero. And I'm here tonight with my son, Jamie. <laughs> I mean, life doesn't get better than this. I love you. Thank you with all my heart. You deserve it. Has your son Jamie known about it? No. Oh, he hadn't known no, either? No, and of course, when the picture of his grandfather, my father, came up, of course, because we're all very attached to this whole Gurkha thing. Yeah. He started, he? he started crying. You're going, no! And it, his wife texted him from home going, saw you sobbing. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so it on the heaven. subject of uh, Leonardo DiCaprio... Mm. Look, I've just got news for you here. <laughs> he is a charming boy. He didn't know how to kiss, so we had to do it again and again and oh, again. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> And you took him out. <laughs> and there you well, are. Yeah. The okay, so, so, so fill us in on, on what's happening here and what this is about. This is, this is a, a fantastic Martin Scorsese film which um, Leonardo DiCaprio stars in as a really ghastly boy, one of those bullish bankers from Wall Street in the 90s. I'm playing 
the aunt of his wife, who he wants to smuggle money into Switzerland and thinks who would not be stopped at customs because she looks so safe and ordinary. And so he takes me to the park to try to say, do you think you could take this money, Aunt Emma? And, you know, is a bit schmoozy with me and eventually goes, oh, yeah, all right, I'll take it, and succeeds. It's a true story. Um, it's only a little scene, but, boy, I made the most of it. Very good. So a good kisser. Oh, he's, honestly, I've, I've got to say, I've always loved him as an actor. I think he's a dazzling... Yeah. He's not mm. only very beautiful, he's a really mm. good actor. He's stunning. He's professional and charming, modest, is kind he? of ordinary, on... Uh, Lovely to the crew, the time, very... Lovely, runs yeah. through the lines beforehand. Gentle, fabulous, oh. can kiss a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Just like you, he's improving with age. Oh, yeah. well, he's looking, he's doing such different things. He's in this terrifying film called Django Unchained at the moment, playing a oh, ghastly gosh, person. Yes. But the next thing we see, which will come out, I guess, in the spring, is The Great Gatsby. So oh, suddenly yeah, he'll be different yeah. again. Oh, yeah. And then we'll see him doing that. I think he's great. Did you find yeah. yourself flirting a little bit with, with, with just a tiny bit. Yeah. yeah. Just, just yeah. manage that. But then there was the double flirt, because I've also, I'm also a huge fan of Martin Scorsese. I mean, mm -hmm. this is a giant in our world. And there's Scorsese, who happens to have seen programmes I did about the Nile. He'd seen that, you know. Well, That's great. You can't imagine. You never imagine huge people seeing your work or seeing stuff. Or the Northern Lights. He'd seen the Northern Lights. Wow. He uh, wrote in a book from your greatest fan, Marty, and you go, oh, my <laughs> real, what's happened, what's going on? Am I dead? Has something, something happened? You, um, know? you said a, a double flirt with, yeah. with uh, Marty <laughs> yeah. and Leo, yeah. um, um, little names, because yeah. they're your pals. Just, yeah. um, are you a natural flirt? We I, love, I have to say, on. I love flirting. I think it's good. I think it's great, and even particularly when you're married, mm. is not to lose that loveliness of loving people. And actually, flirting is just feeling good with yeah. people and making it seem woo. And as you say, making people feel feel, feel comfortable good, and feel, yeah. feel good about I'm themselves. I'm so glad you've come on, cos I was thinking I was a we're bit of a We're going to have to be put in the way to go yes. here. Yes. 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 I need some lessons. Yeah, you've been Maybe you should have them from Joanna. Or from Leo. Oh, yeah. I think Leo. You should have them from Leo. Oh, I wouldn't mind it. Oh, my God, I'd love to see Carol flirting with Leo. I could have a little pass. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we're going to leave you thinking about Leo. And uh, Joanna, thankfully, is staying with us for a bit more of a chat. First, though, uh, take a look at who's going to be... Well, we can't have you here and not talk about AbFab, obviously. Oh, um, we God. saw its return last year to our screens, and thank goodness for that. But 20 years and It's now. unbelievable. It's unbelievable. I it seems like nothing. It just went in a nanosecond. Did you think, in the beginning, when you first saw that script, that it would evolve into this huge I thought thing the script's one of the funniest things I'd ever read. What we thought was that it might just be a pilot and it might not even be taken up as a series. So when we recorded the pilot in front of an audience like this, a little bit bigger than you, but like that, but peppered with Adrian Edmondson, Ruby yeah. Wax, Ben mm. Elton, you know, Lenny Henry and Dawn, and, or in, and if they laughed, which they did, you kind of go, probably on a winner here. What we think might, might get six episodes. <laughs> we thought people north of Watford won't know what Phoenix or Harvey <laughs> Nix is, you know, so that won't work. And we go, how could you ever dr dream that would happen? Do you happen? know we've got them up north got now? Got Phoenix in here. Yeah. <laughs> 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 they got Harvey Nix in Hong Kong. Yeah. I mean, it's it was quite right. a risky thing to do as well, though, wasn't it? Really, yeah. when you think about what it actually is, with some of the things that Patsy and Adina get up to. Very well, un-PC. Yeah. Things we can't do now. I mean, I don't know, I don't know. You, now, when well, Patsy lighting four cigarettes simultaneously and doing lines of coke, I and, I mean, the ba <laughs> and that bad family behaviour, that hadn't happened before, you know, that no. dysfunctional Is there going to be any more? Everybody wants oh, to Oh, look, Jennifer, what I love best of all about Jennifer is the only way she can goad herself into working is by announcing it on television. <laughs> and so she's now yes. said she's going to write an ab fab film. Yes. Fantastic. And last night at the awards ceremony, somebody said to me, I hear Jennifer's writing a, the, the ab Fab the musical, and you go, okay, and they go, you're going to be in it, and you go, well, of course, I'm obviously a very good singer. What the hell? So, Ab Fab on ice, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I'll be there, oh, I'll be there. Oh, I'll be there. It would be incredible to have a movie, though, wouldn't it? Oh, it would I, so I think it might work. Good. Would it you like that? Do you think it would work? Yeah. 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 I think so. yeah. can, we do, can we watch a little bit? We've got a clip, oh, a classic Ab Fab. that you didn't think that um, Patsy was a very good role model. <laughs> um, now, but unfortunately, a lot of women, I think, 
did kind of uh, model themselves on Patsy. So whoever Patsy modelled herself on, we don't know. But I definitely did, and so much so that there's you and Jennifer, oh, and that's no. me. <laughs> Tyler, yeah, that's that, you. That's me. That's fantastic. Made up as you, as Patsy. That's fantastic. Yeah, it was great. And the only person missing from that picture is actually Denise, who could have been June Whitfield. Because they think that's crikey. Well, I could maybe be in the film as the lost, 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 the... lost daughter. Oh, my yes. God. <laughs> oh, my God. I've said it on the television. <laughs> But you didn't feel any responsibility, really, though, did you? I don't know whether something... I mean, we didn't... We obviously meant them to be so, so ludicrously revolting and ghastly that people would laugh at them. <laughs> but I think all of us, when we're laughing, do see a bit of ourselves in of thing, yeah. in mm. it. And I think that people probably identified the Patsy and Adina within them when we buy hopelessly wrong clothes and put them on, yeah. like Adina did. And like or when the we Safi have, character, who's brilliant. Like the little so, Safi. Like, like my, my eldest, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. And there are lots of people who come up and say, I'm Safi, and my, <laughs> my mother's yes. Eddie and her yeah. best friend's Patsy. I mean, masses of people just got it, you know? Yeah. What I love about this country is that is we've got such great senses of humour. People get it. And I don't think they model themselves. No, exactly. No. no. Can I just ask you about one of the things that's been a great success for Sky, which is their little Cracker series, <gasps> which you, now, like your best friend, Marty Scorsese, have been directing. I know. And that you love being on that side of the camera. Have you ever tried directing? No, I haven't. Well, I haven't. I've always been too scared and well, never been given I know, the opportunity, Well, I know, because we actually. are. Isn't it funny? We're, as <laughs> actors, as people in front of the camera, you get to know an awful lot about it. And I've been acting for 45 years. And so, although you're nervous, you go, oh, I'd never know. I've realised that all through, I've listened, watched, seen how cameras work, seen where lights are, realised what props I think are good and what aren't. And best of all, I love actors. And I sometimes look at the performances and think, they could do that much better. Mm. But somebody's not treating them properly yeah. and they're frightening them or locking them off or saying, you've got to put the mug there. And instead of having the emotion, they're so concerned with the mug acting that they're, you know. And I thought, oh, I'd love to have a go at that. So when I was asked to do that, and it was like a duck to water, I think. I mean, mm. probably they're all going, Oh, never again. <laughs> but for me, I loved it. Will you do more? If, I'm, if I can, I will. I love it. I really get it. Do you know what I mean? I love it being you ahead of me, not could do being in it. the film, couldn't you? <laughs> Together. <laughs> <laughs> Direct yourself. <laughs> no, it's uh, really Joanna, exciting. we have to ask you, what yeah. are you doing for the rest of the day? Uh, I'm in the middle of a lovely two-day event. M&S, who've set up a little shop in their store in, in, in Marble Arch, which is where you can go and shop your clothes. And actually, the clothes are being everything that's raised there. Clothes brought in and the clothes being sold, profits to Oxfam. Wow. And it's all really to stop us chucking clothes away, which mm. means they go into landfill. Mm -hmm. So it's all good for the environment and it's rather thrilling because it's something very much after my own heart. Yeah. Yeah. Love it. And uh, uh, it's obviously terribly important to do this, isn't it? Yeah, it, it affects people around the world. I'm lucky enough to have travelled in all the documentaries and things I do to lots of developing countries. And you see how we struggle. I mean, I know times are tough in this country sometimes. We go, God, it's bad. When you go to places where they do not have anything, and particularly the women, it's mm. particularly the women, if they could just get their hands on doing something for themselves. And this enables them to get these clothes and change them, change them around, sell them. If ever you think of casting something off and don't know how to do it, bras are the most valuable. Just thought I'd tell yeah, you that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Bras really? are considered the most yeah. valuable things in I Africa. wish we had another yeah. three hours oh, to sit here and talk to you, but it's that is it. Thank you so privilege. much, Joanna Lumley. Thank you, Thank you darling. Tomorrow at 12.30 with Stel Guru, Got One, and Dancing and I start Matt Lipinskis. Have a good day. Yeah.